with the alumni guys, with the younger guys. Tell me a little bit. You know, Eldridge is out there. He's talking his mess. Well, Eldridge is, is probably really the only one, the only one really talking, you know, out in public. All right. You know, behind the scenes, we're the Division One athletes, we're pros, so we're gonna talk trash to each other. You know, warm us. We're gonna call each other on the phone. Hey, boy, you better be getting ready. Um, and it, I mean, it just comes with the territory. You know, being an athlete and having pride. It's, it's a little bit of, of a mental game. I know Romar talked me up like I was going to get the MVP and then loaded the box against me. Made sure they were in the help side <laughs> pretty heavy. It was fun, man. Yeah, and, what, and what was it like actually playing against Lorenzo? I mean, oh, it was good. I mean, it's not the first time I played against him in open gyms and stuff like that. Uh, it's good. You know, he's always got tricks up his sleeve. Uh, and, and he showed him the day. To beat the only guy out there that got to be <laughs> I'll tell you score 30. <laughs> I, I, so I'm going to put it on this, man. I, uh, I've always been superstitious, okay. right? And I never signed autographs before I played the game. I always signed after. As soon as I walked through the door, we had to sign about 10 basketballs. 10, no. Um, the, the objective wasn't to, to score 40. You know, I was going to be aggressive. And I just wanted to show that I was young and in shape. Um, and they knew it. Lorenzo came over and, and watched. I played with the young guys twice a week over at, uh, at Rainer Vista or whatever. So Lorenzo came over there and did some scouting. So he's like, oh, man, you're ready. Guys don't know about you. But he told them about me. I think they had a little defense scheme for me. Because every time I turned the corner, I had three people waiting on me. Did you have want to play in the alumni game? I mean, because, you know, because you still have some game teams. Yeah, I mean, given the choice, yeah, I would, love, I would love to. You know, I'd love to get out there and mix it up. And I'm, you know, I'm a competitor, and I feel like I can still get out there and mix it up. I know I can because I play against those guys. We're going probably summer league. Like I said, we play a couple days a week. Um, just, you know, going at each other. And I still get up and dunk on them and do the same things pretty much you saw out there today. But the way it breaks down, you know, it's the Romar era guys. And, and you know, it's really simple. You know, that's the way it goes, and that's the way it goes. I, uh... You know, with the other game, I might have got lost in the shuffle a little bit. One, they play a little different than we do. You know, they like to go at you a little more. I don't have that left in my head. <laughs> I was going to say, Don, Jimmy, when it comes down to it, and you're out there and you're doing your thing, does it feel like an old game? I mean, does it? Oh, man. I mean, coming in, it, it was incredible. Coming into the gym, we're seeing the line up outside, yes. coming through traffic. Man, I, I had a flashback. I thought it was 1998. Did <laughs> <laughs> you think that there would be this many people here? No, I, um, I hope that there would be. You know, but you never know what to expect. You play in a lot of events, and you do a lot of you know events. We do some celebrity softball games, a lot of fundraising events, and they're hit or miss. Um, leading up, I, I knew we were doing it, but I was like, man, I haven't heard really a lot of marketing. But the last two weeks, they had a really strong push. All the guys, all the young guys, got behind it. Like I said, Eldridge is. Been talking it up, tweeting it, you know, and everything, talking about what he was going to do. He didn't do too much, by the way. Um, <laughs> no, um, but so uh, they really did a good job down toward the end getting people here. This is, I mean, it's, this is what I, I signed the University of Washington for. You know? Nick, just from like the time that you played here to where the program is now, just how has it evolved? It, it, it's, it's exactly what you said. The key word is evolved. You know, I think that. When when I signed here, there wasn't any real, real success recently that, that, that kids could fall back on and want to go here. Um, we got us to the tournament. Uh, you know, Will Conroy and Brandon Moore and those guys were on the sideline watching. You know, Nate was talking about how he used to sneak into the building and watch me play and, and talking about his memory of seeing us play. So it was, we created that buzz from the city of guys wanting to be here, wanting, you know, wanting to play here. I, I came here because why did Boston stay? You know, and I saw him as a, as, a, as a great guy, a leader. And they got Mark Sampler here, a guy with some talent. They had only won nine games before I got here. But I saw some things starting to happen. You know, there were some players that I felt like if I got out there on the floor, I could make some things up. And so it's just, it's, it just has spiraled and, and evolved. And I think this is really the next step in evolution. So where do you think the program is? Uh, this is it. I mean, this is in a great place. You know, I know that there's, there's uh, you know, criticism for not making the NCAA tournament and all that stuff. But when you have guys that, you have so many guys playing in the NBA, I think that's one testament to where the program is. And you have to replace that. And that takes time, especially when you lose guys unexpectedly. You know, uh, this is a huge step. You know, this is, this is this everybody in the program here in the community, the guys that have played here and the guys that are coming here. There's
first little guy in the stands, yeah, we Isaiah Watts, who's in third grade, yeah, yeah, yeah. hopefully wants to go here when he's 17 or 18 years old. And the program will hopefully be, you know, continuing to evolve. So that's what this is about. And we're going to do anything, you know, anything and everything that we can to help it do that. And, and getting us together, I think it's, it's really going to help the alumni guys and the legends guys really help spur that movement. So it's going to be great. Man. Hey Donald, also just give us a quick uh, scouting report on the alumni game. What do you, what do you, what do you expect to have out? Uh, a guy that people haven't seen in a long time, uh, uh, Trey Simmons. Yeah. I, I, I expect a big game out of him. We've been playing over the, and he's just, man, he, he runs the court, he, he plays hard, he shoots the lights out. I mean, he, he's, what, he's, he was great when he was here, and he's even better now. Um, so I think uh, that, that's going to be a surprise to some people. I think it'll be great for people to see Brandon. He's going to be able to do some things. He's shooting the basketball really well. Um, uh, and then, the, the you know the Isaiah Thomas uh, uh, Nate Robinson matchup you know it will be real curious you know Isaiah is really serious uh, Will Conroy it's I mean I, I, I came in here the other day and they were practicing you know they were shooting and, and the, the, uh, the older team was working out together and, and I know Will's kind of a leader in putting that thing together so these guys are taking it serious uh, so I think that'll be the, the biggest surprise is the competitive nature that's brewing, you know, and I'm just excited. I got to get done talking to you guys so I can get out here and see it. Thanks, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> How did it feel having that dunk? How did it feel having that dunk? Did you kind of bring back some old memories? Yeah, that? man. You know, I, I still dunk a lot, but it's nice to do it, you know, in, in, in American Airlines Arena. You, 